Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to fully understand which websites are tracking you and how to prevent them from being able to track you and download your data to be able to send you ads that are customized and everything. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. I'm on an iPhone here, and the first thing that I'll do is just open up Safari. So Safari will tell us exactly who's kind of trying to track us, what services they're using to track us. But then the great thing is they'll provide us an option so that we can prevent all these websites and companies from tracking us. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just go to like New York Times. Just a random example of a website. You can go to any other website that you want that you visit frequently. And then now that I'm on New York Times, I'll press the AA at the bottom left here. And you'll see the second option is privacy report, 12 trackers prevented. So I can tap on that and it'll show me exactly what trackers New York Times was trying to use to collect my data and to send me personalized ads. And you can see here, um, the very first option, current website, New York Times, 20 trackers. So I can tap on that and it'll show me um, ADNXS.com, Warner Media, Trade Desk, um, Amazon, Oracle, Google, lots of Google ones, um, Yahoo, Comscore, all of these are tracking your information and they'll sell that information to various third parties or use that themselves to advertise to you. However, you can see if you go back, that these were all blocked. And the reason is because Apple has gotten really good at blocking all these third-party trackers. And I have a really cool setting turned on on my iPhone. The first thing that you want to do to make sure you have this setting is make sure you update to the latest iOS 15. So you have to have the latest operating system to be able to you know, have this option. Um, but it's really cool. You can see at the very top, it says, iCloud Private Relay is hiding your IP address from websites you visit. So it's hiding the IP address that you're currently in your home or wherever you're at, coffee shop or whatever. So they can't really track exactly what, who you are. So to do that, to turn that on, we'll hop into settings here. And then we can just swipe it down and it'll pop up a little search bar and we can search for Private Relay. And here, the very first option, private relay, we can go to that and we can choose the option private relay beta and you can see it says on. So we can tap on that and what this does is it sends all of your data from your specific IP address that people can track you on to like a VPN. And then that VPN connects to the website. So that VPN then chooses a different IP address and they can't track exactly who you are. Basically, it anonymizes who you are. They can't advertise to you and find that specific person and say, I wanna find Trevor and advertise you know, exercise equipment just for Trevor. They won't know who's accessing that website because you're going through a VPN and you have an anonymous IP address. So turn this on, it'll be really helpful to, to protect your privacy. I have it turned on, my wife has it turned on, I suggest everybody have it turned on. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks.